We're live from Singapore for Token 2049. This is one of the biggest events in the crypto world and we are live from the Marina Bay Sands. I'm joined by Mario Alberto Cassieri, the CFO of Singularity Net and the co-founder of Singularity Dio. Mario, welcome to Token this year. Now, you formed this Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance a couple of months ago. How is that going? Uh, it's going well. I mean, we obviously experienced significant success from a Web3 AI perspective since 2023. And we've been in contact with the founders of the respective Fetch and Ocean since a long time. And we realized that we're all looking at building a future together. And it makes a lot of sense to start doing it with a, from, you know, with a deeper platform and so we started looking into how to do that and we came out with this semi-crazy idea uh, Q1 this year that we you know decided was the best thing to do and that um, <clears throat> on the basis of the, the challenge is big the world is moving forward and AI is all and it's better if we do it together bigger and better now this formed a six billion dollar token merger what has the response been from your users so very interesting also here because obviously it has been evolving. We announced in March and uh, uh, um, I started executing the actual on-chain migration of tokens in July. So the market has been looking at you know how it works, what it is, and uh, I can see the feedback and the response even here. It's been widely positive. It's uh, been. So it's been perceived as a trendsetter and as a success and something that, that, that will happen again and more of this in the space and around. Now in your opinion, why does the world need decentralized artificial intelligence? I mean, again, uh, the AI is definitely one of the you know, top three revolution of our lifetime, possibly the biggest one. Uh, and, um, and it's moving really fast and really powerful. There's a lot of unknowns. So uh, it goes from technology to economics to philosophy very fast. And uh, the current dynamics are heavily run by who has the budget, the data, and the opportunity. And uh, by nature and design of how the digital and the physical are, that's extremely centralized. They, you know, I mean, the big players, fangs and around, uh, they, they offer, they've offered amazing innovation to us. Social media has been game changer a game changer and uh, servers and everything uh, but now it's time to look at how to first uh, um, distribute the benefits and the incentives around such model so the economic system shouldn't be centralized uh, data should be decentralized ownership of data should be decentralized access to data should be in the hands of the users or close to and so um, a decentralized solution already offers some of these features and we believe that AI should be for the benefit of all human beings. So why do you think then it shouldn't be centralized? What's the problem? Um, I mean, concentration of power mostly, uh, concentration in management of data and uh, obviously again there's, you know, it gets political very fast because it's so powerful but you know, you'll never know what the last mile, the manifestation of the product actually is it for the best of us. Who, is, who decides what content can be processed, what content cannot be processed. So there should be a discussion what the ethics, the general principle of this are, and maybe the incentive of the traditional capitalistic capital markets based society. Maybe it's not the only voice that we should be listening to. Now, you only just formed, but what's the goal for the next few months for the Artificial uh, Super Intelligence Alliance? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, first and foremost, we announced another event last week. So, we're showing how we behave and that the door is open uh, for high quality founder, high quality projects to explore how to collaborate with us in different forms. Uh, so, more on this. And um, we, again, we have a very ambitious vision. Ben Gertzels, the founder of Singularity Nets, original vision was beneficial artificial general intelligence since the 80s, the 90s. It's been a trendsetter on that. Now it has become a message for the whole world and a mainstream topic to discuss. <coughs> so we're looking at 
extending the ecosystem for sure, <coughs> presenting what it means from an infrastructure and product perspective, bring up the challenges for others to join and help us solve the uh, I mean, help us solve these challenges with the goal of creating the artificial super intelligence of the future. Well, good luck with it all. It sounds very exciting, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. If you would like more news or the latest interviews from Crypto and Token29, go to the Grapha app. That's Grapha on the Google Store Play or Apple Store.